Masks let us hide who we are. Costumes let us be someone else entirely. So is the life of a cosplayer. For those few moments, one can be the hero. Or the villain. It takes quite a lot of time, effort, and some discomfort to walk a mile in another's spandex. You've probably passed by these brightly colored individuals. Now it's time to hear their story. We're in the Big Apple for the 2012 New York Comic Con. What's your name, miss? Uh, Victoria. And why did you decide to come to the New York Comic Con dressed as the Pink Ranger? Uh, I've been coming to Comic Con for four years now. I've never dressed up. This is my first time. Um, when I was little, I always wanted to be the Pink Ranger, so it's kind of like a childhood lived dream come true. Why did you come to the New York Comic Con dressed as Krillin? Um, I love the character. He's a normal um, say, um, person, not a Saiyan, so I can identify him with, with him more um, from Dragon Ball Z. What's your name, Miss? Taryn Lopez. And where are you from? I'm from here in New York City. How have you been enjoying the con so far? It's been a lot of fun. Um, I'm a little disappointed right now because I, I wore the costume today to get a picture with Stan Lee. But unfortunately, he fell ill yesterday. So, But uh, aside from that, the con's actually been a lot of fun. So. Why did you come to the New York Comic Con dressed as uh, the respective characters from Adventure Time? Well, I love Princess Bubblegum. I think she's really awesome. And we decided to do the cosplay together, and we figured out who better to go than as Marceline and Princess Bubblegum. Uh, what's your name, sir? My name is Steve. I'm cosplaying Zero from Mega Man X. And uh, how long did it take to make your costume? Approximately 10 to 12 hours um, straight. Um, the cosplay, I, I'll run it through, down for you. The helmet is made out of a bicycle helmet that I attached chipboard to. The shoulders are made of foam core, um, along with the graphic. The chest piece is actually a Spartan chest piece I got from the Halloween store that I used uh, red duct tape over, along with the blue orbs, I mean the red, green orbs, what am I saying, that uh, they're plastic. And my feet are made of chipboard. What's your name, miss? My name's Katie, and I'm Lady Loki. And where are you from? I'm from central New Jersey. And did you make your costume yourself? Um, I did, actually. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about that process that it took to create the costume? Um, well, I just, you know, did a lot of trips to Home Depot and Fabricland and bought the supplies, locked myself in my apartment on my days off. <laughs> Haven't really had much sleep in the past couple of weeks. Um, a lot of long hours, but, you know, it's all worth it in the end. What's your name, Miss? My name's Ashley. And where are you from? I'm from New Jersey. <laughs> and uh, why did you decide to come as the princess from The Princess and the Frog? Well, my best friend made this dress for me, actually, and I've just been wanting to get a chance to wear it. I haven't had any chances to wear it yet, and I haven't been to any conventions on the East Coast yet either, so I thought this would be the perfect opportunity to show off the dress. And, I, and Tiana is one of my favorite princesses. I love Disney. And what's your name? My name's Tatiana. Um, I'm cosplaying Katara from Avatar The Last Airbender. And uh, what brought you to Comic-Con this week and weekend? Um, I'm actually just moved here to New York, so I've been to Comic-Con before, and I wanted to get a whole feel of it, and I really like anime here, I really like the comics here, everything, it has a different atmosphere than it was last year, and there's a lot of new stuff, so I'm like really excited for it. What's your name, sir? My name is Peter. Uh, how long did it take to make your Doctor Doom costume? All in all, waiting for stuff for, uh, to be shipped and things like that, you know, parts that I needed for it, about three months. So you made it entirely yourself? I made it not entirely. Uh, the gloves I didn't make myself. The gauntlets are metal. I had a friend. I have a friend who uh, does Renaissance festivals, and he was kind of messing around with some gloves at home. And I said I needed what could. I actually asked him, what, how can I make my own that won't fall apart? And he said, I'll just give you. I'll just make you some real quick. And he banged these out, and I was just waiting for him. What made you decide to make the costume as Hawkman and Hawkgirl? Have you been a long fan of them? Yeah, we actually did uh, Hawkman and Hawkgirl, the, the standard main continuity version um, for Halloween a couple years ago. And we loved it. But uh, We did feathered wings, which was such a pain. I do not recommend feathered wings because we had these like harnesses that like we couldn't sit down. We had to perch on stuff. It was terrible. Yeah. <laughs> it was just ter they looked cool, but it was terrible. Uh, yeah, especially Hawk Girl's uh, standard costume doesn't really allow for a harness for the wings. It just kind of magically is there. 
Uh, so that was another part in, in wanting to change it up a little bit so that we could build it in a more practical manner uh, and actually make the harnesses part of the outfit. Um, but yeah, we, we definitely love Hawkman and Hawk Girl. Uh, they're great because they're, they're partners, they both kick ass. Uh, I mean, they're like this immortal love, which is super romantic too, but I love them. What are your names? Joe. Dan. John. Quinn. Did you make your costumes yourselves or did you get them professionally made? We made them all ourselves, bit by bit. How long did it take to make all four? It didn't take very long, actually. It was just a matter of like a month. Yeah, like a month or so to, to actually make everything. It took a couple months to plan everything, but... For at least a good half year. And then once we thought about it, we are just like, all right, we're just going to go buy the fabric, we're just going to put it together, and now we're just going to go buy the materials to put the weapons together. And bit by bit, as you're getting it done, it's like, this is coming out pretty great. And then it did. Hi, my name's Fernando Martinez. And uh, how have you been enjoying the convention? Oh, I, I'm, I'm absolutely loving it. I'm actually here with a friend of mine who's like does a webcomic, and I've been here for the past couple days, and it is just a lot of fun. I love everything about it, all the costumes, all the like great stuff, and bo the booths and the panels are just amazing. So... And how have you been enjoying it? Oh, it's just been absolutely a great time for me. Um, just, uh, uh, it's, it's so, there's so much going on. This is my first day here. He didn't take me on the other two days because I don't know. Um, but yeah, it's, it's fun. There's, there's a lot of pretty girls around here, so it's really nice. So um, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of the day.